All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. Work with your hands. Yeah, it's starting to fall apart. I love it. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. Nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. You're listening perfectly. Nice work. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Boxing damage. Good job. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, this is it! This is it! You fighting for the title! You did all the hard work to get here! You trained! You sweat! You bled! You earned it! I don't have any more sage advice! I just got one more question! Whose time is it? It's my time! Nah, 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 fuck that! I didn't hear you! Whose time is it? It's my time! Whose time is it? It's my time! You hungry? Yeah! Then get out there! Fuck yeah. me! Let's go! shot at 170 pounds that is saying something most people would argue this is as deep as any division in the ufc and this man undeniably the number one contender as he makes the walk tonight he has separated himself from the pack the only person left is the champion he has done everything necessary to be the beat as a guy the that could the hold champion his championship the belt now's his moment he has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's going to take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes, is going to help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see if by night's end we have a new champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 2. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Cold camp. 
Ladies and gentlemen. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here we go, early round one. This fight to determine the UFC welterweight champion and for the number one contender to lose. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Oh, he got it again. Trying to finish this fight. He's in the mood. Oh, big, big shots here. Yeah. So he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biting his... Right, he gets to the target. Beautiful flying into the head. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh! Right side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. In the half guard. And he is back up to his feet. What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and oh, new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, comeback kid. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class. Hell yeah, yeah, the champ is here. Oh my god, what a fight. I'm the best, I'm the champ. Hell yeah, you are. All the hard work paid off. I just want you to know, I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Nah, I don't know about that. You're a special fighter. Maybe you wouldn't have got here so fast or looked so good doing it, but you always have potential. We couldn't have got here without you either, kid. Wow. That means a lot, though. Okay, now you're the champ, okay? I didn't plan nothing. You're supposed to have some kind of crazy after party at the club, right? So what are we doing? Huh? We popping bottles, we getting pony rides. Come on, coach, what do you mean? Oh, come on, you didn't plan anything? Again? What we gonna do now? I know, I know, I know. I'm the coach. But guess what? You're the champ, kid! <laughs> yeah! I am! Let's go! <laughs> Davis MMA! Woo! That's the champ. All right, let's go.
one. Uh, okay, come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That punch damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. Oh, good job. Yeah, devastating punch. Awesome job. That's what I want to see. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. Okay, this is how we train to win the belt. Ah, yeah, ah, yes, big punch. Yeah, that'll leave a bruise. That's it, come on. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. Good job in there. Awesome job. Let's move on. Nice, nice. Really great job today. Great. Hey, great. Great boxing damage. Okay? Good job. You hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when is going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in the air. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jujitsu practitioner. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight. But Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. So here he is, the UFC welterweight champion working his way to the octagon. This will be his first title defense. So for all the naysayers who say, perhaps you're not the champion until you successfully defend the belt, he can mute the masses 
in a matter of moments here if he can successfully defend this UFC welterweight championship. Won the belt with style points. Now looking to do the same as the hunted instead of the hunter. Let's keep it up. from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Look at that champ, look at that champ. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Nick Diaz. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the man. Yeah. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one as the words will finally give way to the action. This is the UFC Welterweight Championship, and this will be the champion's first title defense. So he wrested the belt away earlier this year, now trying to defend the title at 107. Oh, yeah, right there. His opponent compromised his It's another big to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, he wants to prove that. And that'll do it! Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the Garden. What a performance. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kanak Kid. All right, so his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody, anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. If he decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.